hanging out with us. Uh, he's been doing a radio tour today. I tried to talk out of it yesterday. Mm. I'm just coming to our show. Probably should have listened in hindsight. Yeah. Uh, it's Joe. Put your fucking headphones on to Rose, everybody joining us. Uh, <laughs> it's good to be here. It's nice to close out the day with some friends. Friendly faces, <laughs> yeah, Joe. I bet. <laughs> As you, before you go international, you see these loving faces. I, I thought my flight to China was tomorrow. It's tonight. Fucking I did not. Joe Man, go, I fucked it up. Joe going to the Far East. God damn You know it. the old Chinese proverb that says, the Rosa who forget flight, <laughs> forget fight. I didn't that. get my adapters yet oh. for the plugs. Oh, yeah. No. yeah, they probably will, right? Yeah, you're just going to have to pay a shit ton. Yeah. It's hey. probably the best place to buy you them. better motherfucking uh. have them there. Oh, dude, I like you're going in hot. These Coming guys out are, hot. Yeah. It's been a rough day of radio for you. Yeah. No, it's been a great day of radio except for one show. Yeah. It's been a, a fantastic day. I had a blast on Kevin Brennan, Burning Bridges. I had a blast on Kumia. I had a blast on Jim and uh, Sam this morning. Uh, and I'm going to have a blast with you guys. It was yeah. one show... With a real fucking cocksucker <laughs> that did wasn't fun. Yeah, well, just what I have to hear, and I hope maybe you have been talking about it all day long. I haven't on, on these shows, but I, I'm so curious. I listened to it, and it's a Pete Dominic show we're talking about on Insight, which, which uh, is slowly becoming the channel of our enemies. It <laughs> the, really is. I don't mean that politically. I mean people that don't like Jay and I. I mean, like if Office goes fucking oh, Hunger care. Games, it's the first ones we yeah, got to take yeah. out. No, we're clipping them first. That's the first people we're taking out. Inside better stiz dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Inside bouts to suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well, yeah, we've already built our army, too, on the 36th floor. To, to fill the crowd in a little bit on, on what... Me and Dan even know is uh, you were on Pete Dominic's show today. Mm -hmm. We heard started off, gave you a, a lovely intro. I mean, we didn't. so you guys are yeah, we have the intro. No, his intro is he goes before he went to break. He goes before we went to break. There, I, I heard that for the first yeah. time right here. But well, I heard, we have it. We have it right here. Play. It. I heard him. When we come back, old friend, great comedian, actor Joe DeRosa will join us in studio for the first time in a long time. Last time he was here, you guys really liked him. I didn't, but the audience certainly did. We'll be right back. Hey, that's clear, Joe. Well, it, I, that's what I thought until you hear what the fuck went down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I don't know if those two are like uh, related. Yeah, I that think might that just was be. a joke coming in. Uh, uh, but, no, I don't. I don't believe it. Do you I believe he came in like I fuck Joe DeRosa? I, yeah, I believe I know this man intimately at this point because <laughs> uh, this has happened to me. The, the first two times we went on a show, it got hot, and we left on good terms. Uh, so the first time I was like, wow, that was a little weird. Second time I was like, wow, what a coincidence. Yeah. Today I was like, and I say it on the air. I go, you do this to me every fucking time I come on the show. Like, like this is not a coincidence. This so we'll get yeah. So he, you didn't like the intro, and then but that, but that, I didn't go in hot over the intro. Okay. I, I just in hindsight, I'm like, oh, that was a pre. He was like ready to be condescending. That was a pre. That was yeah. a tr this is a guy I've known for 15 years. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing you didn't know about him. Blue. Nah, that would have been a perfect time to drop it. Oh, we made wonderful drops about this already. Oh, yeah, we've already listened to the audio and decided for, what we wanted to for drop. For someone you know very well, one fact you didn't have. I, I go, go to Atlanta all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I go to Atlanta all the time. Yeah, it's my favorite thing. Uh, so what, so, Jade, you want to fill in everyone with what happened? Because, I mean, you listened to the full thing. Sure. Well, I mean, I want Joe ultimately to, I want him to tell his yeah, I feel uh, like side of it ultimately, but as, as a person in. listening to it, like, it did seem like Pete, but Pete's very argumentative for sure. Yeah. And they were getting, and I was very much disagreeing with Pete. He seemed to take issue with Joe calling, lumping him in with the left and saying, uh, mm -hmm. you know, people like, people like you, you guys, you know, make, making it the, you know the we of it all, yeah, yeah. or the uh, them of it all, like a group. And Pete took issue with that, and then a lot of times in the conversation described him and his beliefs as us, we. Yeah, he's what, full of shit. But says, you know, what I'm saying, he goes, he goes, we like the left think full this, of shit. and we and us, and so I thought that was an odd thing to yeah. Yeah. complain about it all. But he does I, that classic I, thing that right wing and left wing people do, where they go, where they go, dude. I I actually lean left, yeah. but Trump is brilliant. And you're like, what are you talking? Just be who you are, motherfucker. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, who cares about it? And you were doing that, and he was uh, pressing a bit. But I will say, and maybe it's just how person, certain people's personality rubs you. Mm -hmm. 
but I didn't see it coming when you flipped. But I feel like he was just like thumbnailing you in the in the left tit for what, you know thirty minutes. I can I, and I can ex, I can explain. What made me pop was that he was being so condescending the whole time, and I was I just kept giving him leeway. I just yeah. kept being like, because very early on in the interview, he says when he talks about my column in Penthouse, he goes. So you talk about things you don't believe in and blah, 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 blah. And I go, well, yeah, I go, Pete, you know, there's exceptions to every rule, but the, you know, you got to speak in generalities when you write these sort of op-ed yeah. pieces. And he goes, you know, it's just sad to me to think like, you know, he was kind of putting these little <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. jabs in and I kept letting them slide. And the thing that really set me the fuck off was when I started talking about my very, very liberal best friend, who, Pink, Jim Pinkstone, you know, mm -hmm. who I grew up with, who lives in Atlanta, who was kind of telling me, like, who we, we always talk about this shit, and he goes, hey, bro, like, I get it. Like, you're in L.A., you're in the literal polar opposite of what I'm in. I'm in Atlanta, where it's like, everybody's like, Trump, guns, we love it, blah, blah, blah. He goes, and that pisses me off, and I get furious. He goes, you're in the opposite of that, mm -hmm. and you get furious at the opposite of that. So when I started talking about that, and then Pete goes... Well, maybe you should just get your own experiences instead of just listening to what your friend thinks. That's when I was like, fuck you, dude. Yeah. Like, well, we actually have. Jacob says we have the actual clip of that moment. Oh, lovely. The, exp the explosion like of volcano. I, I haven't heard it yet. It'd be great if this ends with you going. It goes, maybe I did jump the gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made a terrible mistake, guys. Can you give me five minutes? i got to go text Pete. I said some shit I didn't mean. You got it, Lou? This one? You spent time in Atlanta? Yes. I spent a lot of time like a bastion of liberal ideology. No, it's not. Yeah, everything Please. around Hold Atlanta on. Can nuts. I tell you right now? Already, as your friend, I can hear the gas on your breath. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. can hear. I can hear Joe coming in. Oh, the as someone that knows What's Joe, not? as Joe Dude, coming well, this in. this is, by the way, this yeah. is the 32-minute mark of a fucking discussion. <laughs> you know it's funny? like it's, it's if you dropped into a, if you dropped into an, a, like a long car ride, like nine hours in, and he goes, is that a mountain? He goes, yeah, that's a mountain. Yeah. That's a fucking mountain. Yeah. You can ask me about every, if we're in the fucking Rockies. This is the whole fucking Rockies. This is 32 minutes in, and this is the point where I realized, like, this motherfucker yeah, did this to me yeah. every time I've come on this show, and I, I'm just, uh, I'm done. So I'm start, done start again, sorry. You spent time in Atlanta? Yes. Oh. I spent a lot Atlanta's of time like in Atlanta. Atlanta's like a bastion of liberal ideology. No, it's not. Yeah, everything Pete. around Atlanta sucks. <sighs> no? Pete, no, you're wrong. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Then, then pick pick another city that's like that, if, if that's I not good. I think there's plenty enough. of others. I yeah. feel like Atlanta, I have always, uh, my understanding is Atlanta itself has always it's been liberal, friend, liberal politicians. I go to Atlanta five, four times a year to visit my best friend in the world, yeah. and every time I talk to him, he's like, dude, every, that I'm just surrounded hurt. by... Well, maybe you should fair, have your in, own experience. I thought you were business. currently visiting your best friend in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I should out. say my oldest friend, you needy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fuck you, right? No, it's fine. <laughs> it's totally cool. Dude, he... Um, but you can hear it in these real quick. Let me tell you, I, oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go I think yeah. this is what you're going to say as well. Yeah. You can hear the condes... You can just hear him yeah. being condescending. There's a... My friend got married, and he is a friend, a college friend. That I don't know. And it, it was, sometimes we hang out. The guy used to live in New York. We just don't get along. He's mm -hmm. a condescending prick. Mm -hmm. At the guy's wedding, at my friend's wedding, we were sitting there talking, and I had a blow up like this, and it just reminded me of that because he was like, "I was like, yeah, Charleston. I think Bill Murray has a house in Charleston, South Carolina. That's the sentence right. that I said." Yeah. And he goes, "We were just there. Bill Murray has a house in South Carolina. It was that kind of thing where I go, yeah, yeah, I think so.' And he goes, <laughs> "You're sure it's Charleston?" Like, and I go, "How could we have not?" That's exactly we what it is. To his house then? That's exactly what it was. And finally, I was like, "Hey, are you just going to be a fucking?" I was like, "Are you going to be a prick about this?" And so I, mm -hmm. I see, I can mm -hmm. hear where it's going because he's mm -hmm. like doing that thing where he goes, "I mean, I, I, uh, I, I thought I knew Atlanta, but yeah, apparently I don't yeah. know. I don't know the Atlanta." Well, that you he know. knows it because he goes down to, the, to perform, which you'll hear in a second. All right. This well, guy, yeah, he's CNM a comic. When he worked on CNM. Um, <laughs> Uh, by the way, the best stuff happened off air, and I want to tell you. Oh, I that's can't what wait. I want to tell you this all is, those details. Well, do you, this also, this do you know what happened on the show after you left? No. Oh, dude. Oh, do you have that? that? Oh, some great phone calls came after. Oh, do you, oh, you, do you have that? I, didn't, I can get it. I don't have it. Get it. Can you go? Can you? How many people hated me, and how many people agreed with me? Well, they didn't put through anybody who agreed Jet, with me. I don't think. Yeah, well, one guy said. Well, you are. Well, I don't want to. Joe, blow all right, all right, Joe, Joe, stop, stop blowing the mouth stuff. We're doing mouth stuff to each other now. <laughs> we're gonna get, we're gonna get full right. into it. Fair enough. It's gonna lead in here. Fair enough. Sorry. I, I want to do more mouth stuff. Just try a little mouth stuff. But we. Uh, so play the rest of the clip. Yeah. 
if, if that's I not think there's plenty enough. of others. I yeah. feel like Atlanta, I have always, uh, my understanding is Atlanta itself has always it's been not. liberal. Friend, they elect liberal politicians. I go to Atlanta five, four times a year to visit my best friend in the world, uh, and every time ouch. I talk to him, he's like, dude, every, I'm just surrounded by. Well, maybe you should have your own experiences, not based on what your best friend is saying. I've been to Atlanta a bunch of times, and I felt differently. No? What do you get so frustrated for? Because oh, that went. fucking... Yeah, sorry. We're right at I, do know, it, I do know what Joe's face did there. <laughs> I went like this. Right. I went like this. I went... <laughs> I went like that. that, that was, that's what I would have guessed. Yeah. I would have went... I look out to the side. It was it was my Billy Bats moment. Where I'm like, <laughs> do I do it? Do I do it? Uh, yeah, right, go get on. your shine box. All right. All sorry. Right, sorry. You to should be fair, have your own experiences, not based on what your best friend is saying. I mean, I've been to Atlanta Christ. a bunch of times, and I've felt differently. No? What do you get so frustrated for? Because you're that, a cunt. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? You're being a cunt. You're being what condescending. What does it even mean? What do you mean, what does it mean? You know what it means? No, I don't. You're I don't know how you're using it. Every fucking time I come on this show, you, off air you go, hey, dude, it's great to you. You want to talk about this? And I go, yeah, let's talk about Twitter or whatever the fuck it is. And then we go on the air, and you, you're, you're so fucking condescending, you sit there and you go, don't you dare say this. This isn't right. That's not right. You're wrong. This is wrong. And I go, well, no, Pete, I don't agree. I actually think this. You go, well, you're fucking wrong. And even with this, with this fucking Atlanta thing, a city you never go to, that I, I go, go to Atlanta all the time. time. For what? <laughs> I went, I went, CNN, I worked there. I went there every week. I go there all the time. I do gigs. I was just there. I just spent the night in Atlanta. Oh, we'll the take, night? We're going to take a break. The we'll night? Be, we'll be right back either with or without Joe. By the way, Joe goes, the night? <laughs> you spent the night? <laughs> spent the night. I spent days, dude. I'm day Atlanta. Do you know what day Atlanta is? I do like it's arguing good. over yeah. the difference of days versus it, it was it, three nights in Atlanta. Well, it's just so funny. Well, it's like I literally go down there for like a week, a week and a half at a time and stay on my, and like, like yeah. live in the environment and, and I love Atlanta, but it's like this fucking guy, I just spent the night there. Uh, uh, I go to Atlanta all the time. Yeah. You don't know. Cuomo and I went down there to do a piece. <laughs> the fuck up, Pete. I go to Atlanta all the, all the time. All the time. So what happened? So it didn't, so it didn't end good off air, huh? Yeah, cause he dumped there. <laughs> it got. Nasty off there. <laughs> well, because what happens is, is he dumped out of that quick. He yeah, was like, did. He's like, let's go to break. Fuck, you like, yeah. my my Atlanta creds on the line here. He yeah. goes, I'm in, I'm down with the Dungeon family. I'm down. With, <laughs> he goes, you don't know. I got Goody Mob. I'll have fucking Goody Mob on. CeeLo calls up Joe DeRosa. He goes, hey CeeLo, what are you doing, man? Talking shit. <laughs> yeah, he goes, that's my boy. Hey Pete, who hung out with T Pain Strip Club in Atlanta? Not you, motherfucker. <laughs> that would <laughs> me. Be. Oh shit. <laughs> Who made it rain with T Pain? Uh, Me. <laughs> so what happens? He goes to commercial. Uh, you guys take the headphones off and go. That was good, dude. No, no, no. Uh, Jesus, not even. I know. I'm kidding. No, I know you're kidding, but I'm like, there wasn't even a second of like, well, that was weird. You yeah. know, it was like, dude, he leapt out of his chair and he started screaming at me. What was he yelling at you? <clears throat> What every person, what every f extremely left liberal ever yells at you when they're wrong, he goes, how dare you? Oh. How dare you? He just kept going, how dare you at me? And I was like, Pete, <laughs> fuck off, man. And he goes, he goes, I was actually I very, just like, I just like, how dare you? <laughs> so just say stupid. that. To say that for real, you know what it is? To, also, to another dude is like, I, I bet you can get there for sure, but yeah, I'm yeah. Like, it's a funny one to get there. It's on the same level as the audacity. Yeah. The well, audacity. I, well, I never. Oh, I never. Why I yeah, And it's like, Pete, it's, oh, it wasn't that shit. daring. You're a fucking yeah. moron. Yeah. This was easy to oh, do. Fuck. You challenge beliefs. But he's screaming, how dare you? And then he goes, I go, what? what fuck, right? And he goes, he goes, how dare you? You come on my show and Poppy have... Cock! In front of... <laughs> Poppy Cock! <laughs> he goes, you come on my show. I was very proud of this response. He goes, you come on my show in front of my audience. He's screaming at me. And I was, hey, call me a condescending cunt. And I go, Pete, to be fair, I called you a cunt and condescending separately. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that? Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> and he did not think that was funny. Steam boiling. It's a like, Dude, he is it's uh what's his name in uh fucking Roger Rabbit? Is that what they say, Daddy? Yeah. Is that what they say? <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> at the end where you realize that Christopher, yeah. uh, what's his name, is, is the guy. Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, it's like, Christopher Lloyd, Pete, yeah. do I have to put you in the dip? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Pete, Relax. Pete, Pete puts a cartoon shoe in a fucking oil derrick in front of you. Pete goes, do you know what happens like someone challenged me? Why am I a shoe? You go, no, uh, you put that cartoon daisy back in its pod. Monster. Yeah. He's, dude, he's literally, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. He's so mad that he's uh, jumping up and down. After, <laughs> he's jumping up and down. After at me. you said, uh, after well, you, fair. After, just you, after, after the whole thing, like that, I slipped that to be fair comment in while he was jumping up and down. And he's jumping up and down and he's fucking pointing at me. And he's going, how dare you? You're my, you're supposed to be my fucking friend. I defended you for three years. And I go, the fuck are you talking about? You defended me. And he goes, before we went on the air, I said I wanted to talk about you and the Comia thing that happened on Twitter. And you said I don't want to. And I go, Pete, you didn't fucking defend me. I said me and Kumia squashed the beef two years ago. Mm-hmm. I don't want to fucking talk about it. How is that you defending me? Yeah. And he's screaming at me. Then his producer comes in. His producer's like, Joe. Five minutes there, boss. Yeah, and he's like, Joe, I'm, I'm sorry. Three? Yeah. <laughs> and and you're on. <laughs> he goes, three. Uh, Pete, the mics <laughs> are <Yeah>. hot. Guys, <laughs> uh, we're, we're, Pete, we've got the Ovaltine's live read. <laughs> if you could just. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, you know, the people at Bowling Branch want you to have <laughs> the same what? kind of comfort. I cannot believe Blink Camera offers you a better way to look at security. I never, uh, in 15 years, I, I, I fed you from my breast. Uh, Sleep is cool as the other side of the pillow every night. Three U.S. Pres- so, what's that? Three U.S. presidents be wrong? Then he said. Uh, <laughs> So it's pretty. Howard. He said, wow. Never mind. Howard's movie, Symphony Sid. Uh, yeah, 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 Symphony Sid. <laughs> so his producer, his producer comes in and he starts holding Pete back and he's going, Pete, stop, stop. Holding him back? Like physically? Yeah. And he's going, Pete, stop, stop, stop. And he's going, Joe, I'm sorry. And I'm like, I'm like, whatever, man. And I start walking out. Pete is like trying to jump past his producer at me. What? I'm not bullshitting. He's, he's trying to jump past his producer at me. To, and he to is, fight you? Dude, he's screaming maniacally at me. Where is this? In his fucking studio. Where? By, I thought he's you were from a, home now. Uh, no, right over there. It was right over there. And he's going... Is it one of the thin studios that's got the glass it's one of the glass ones, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's going, fuck oh, you, shit, you motherfucker. Why don't you come back and talk to me like a man? And whatever. And I go, I'm right fucking here, Pete. Yeah. What do you? What the fuck you want to talk? I'm right fucking here. I'm and standing here. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm standing here. And he's Loving's screaming. Outside. And his producer's holding him back. And long story short, I go, Pete, what do you want to fight me? Mm. (laughs) What do you want to fight me? And he goes, I don't fight people because I'm a grown up, especially friends. I don't fight friends. And he's screaming at me. And I go, and this is the last, the last thing I said to him. I go, Oh, this was a good one. Oh, this was a good (laughs) fucking knife twist. I go, Hey, Pete. If you think I'm the first one of your pals that came on your radio show and left thinking you're a fucking asshole, you're wrong. (laughs) Which is true. And, I, and as I was walking out, he was going, "You made that up. That's a lie." <laughs> <laughs> dude, what oh, a shit, dude. I was like, "All right, that's dude. That's such a fucking uh, fist clincher in front of your uh, face." Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he was screaming at me. <laughs> you made that up. That's a lie. And I was like, "This the same noise would later. happen if you splashed grease in his face." <laughs> 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 That's great. Because a lot of people leave this show and fucking hate it. Yeah! Watch it only makes the bird worse! Hey, Pete, a lot of people think you're a dick. Man, you <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's like, fuck you. You don't know what you're talking about. By the way, everyone else hates you. What? <laughs> Shoots through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Several floors. <laughs> it's all the way up. And that was it. And then I went and told several serious employees that I'm friends with, who I won't name because I don't want to pull anybody else from my shit. But I went and told several serious employees, like, hey, this is just what happened. And every single one of them goes... Dude, that's awesome. He's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Not one person was like, really? Dude, that's fucked up. Every single person was like, he's a fucking asshole. Thank you for doing that. Really? So if I had me, I don't person. know that side of Pete at all. 
uh, I've known it for years, and yeah. I've always let it slide because I'm just like, ah, eh, you know, Pete's. Yeah, I, could, I try to give motherfuckers the benefit of the doubt. I'm just like, you know, dude. You, I've, also, you, I've done Pete's show on such a like benign level. Do you know what I mean? I've done his show to talk about. It's not really political this motherfucker. At all. I, thinks, I don't get into the politics of him at all because I. I don't this motherfucker argue thinks he's Michael Moore suddenly, and it's like, hey, Pete, I remember when you took that fucking show on. And when you told me that you didn't think you could do it because you don't know dick about fucking politics. And I'm sorry if I don't sit home all night and all day reading facts and, and information and statistics out of a newspaper that I then go on the air and regurgitate to people. You fucking hack. Yeah. You're a fucking hack phony. You're a pundit. Barely. Fuck you, you're Ann Coulter. Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. Fuck you. think you're you. fucking Michael Moore? More like... Michael Bohr. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Michael Moore. Whoa, whoa Jay. I Michael don't... Moore. More like Michael. More like Michael. Joey Rose is back in. Joe, 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 Joe. Get the fuck out of my face. It, it's, it's, you know, and he's screaming at me, you're my friend, and, you, and, and how dare you you're do this? You're my friend! You're like, I haven't even talked to you in three years. I go to Atlanta all the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's why. I, mean, I go to Atlanta all the time. <laughs> the, 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 the cry of a liar. Yeah. yeah. I, I called you all the time. Yeah. No, you didn't, Pete. I got 11 black friends. Yeah. 11! 11! Yeah! I'll send you texts! Look at this! <laughs> Dude, the fucking Roger Rabbit thing's not leaving my head. Yeah. Uh I mean, it just sounded like you just finally blew up and called a guy on his shit. I, I listen. He has done that to me the last again. All three times I went on a show, he did that to me. He said, "And by the way, here's what the conversation was before we went on the air." And that's why I said, "You know, off the fucking air, you're all nice and whatever." Before we went on, he goes, "I want to talk about like the Twitter thing. You just quit. Like, does that have anything to do with the Kumi?" And I go, "No, it's got nothing to do with that. They're two separate things." I go, "Please don't bring up the Kumi shit. We we were cool. I'm doing a show later today. We're friends. Like, I don't run. Oh, there's no reason to reopen that can of worms." And I go, "I quit Twitter because I wanted to quit Twitter." And I go, "I'll talk to you about that all day long if you want to." Yeah, it's got nothing to do with what happened two years, three years ago, whatever. I go, "I'll talk to you, but I'd love to talk about that." And he goes, okay, cool. That's great. Let's talk about it. And he goes, and you're writing for Penthouse. That's fucking great. And I go, thanks, man. I'm like, yeah, let's talk about it. So we, as soon as we start, he goes, so you write op-eds for Penthouse. That's fucking cool. Like, what, what are your, what's the column about? And I go, it's called You Let Me Down. It's about how everything I was taught to believe in as a kid is bullshit. Mm -hmm. I feel let down. He goes, that's a great idea. So give me an example of one. I go, well, you know me, Pete. Like, I don't really believe in the integrity of any industry or, 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 or uh, institution or belief structure, whatever. And he's like, okay, okay. So, but, but give me an example. Don't you think that's a little negative? You know what I mean? And he, he turns into a dice character? He starts right the fuck in. <laughs> oh, Joe, how dare you say oh, that me, Mike you're going to come into speaking my studio and say things to me. Speaking fuck you, my speaking friend. Speaking of which, you the, just fell out. Uh, you're my friend, Speaking Joe. of which, uh, oh, Mo. when I was on Anthony's thing today, I told him we were watching the Dice Gay and Dice uh, Find Jesus videos. Yeah. And I threw these two at him, and he did them spot on. I go, can you please do Andrew Mice Clay, where he, it's Andrew Mice Clay as a mouse? <laughs> and he goes, I see this fucking wood thing with cheese. <laughs> I go, take the cheese. It slams on my yam bag. I shoot my load all over the gadget. <laughs> And he also did Andrew Rice Clay, where I go, just do Dice, where he owns a restaurant where they serve nothing but rice. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Dude, anyway. he's fucking great. I do. Um, that that, Pete's dice, gonna lose that, that dice impression will get me. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Maybe so Pete could get you back with a dice impression? That's what I was wondering. I'll never. I, listen. I'm, what I'm saying is the bur is the bridge burned. Is, it, is there mm -hmm. no way to ever go back to? No, I'll never talk to that motherfucker again. Ever talk to him again? Not I even love, but you will. You, but you will meet him in the squared circle. Yeah. What I'm saying is November 17th <laughs> in Atlantic City. I'm not. Are listen, you running from Pete Dominic? I'm not a fucking psycho. It's, if I see the guy, I'll be cordial. But it's like, why would I want to be friends with him? Mm -hmm. Why would I want to be friends with him? It's like I did his. Shanghai. I did his show as a fucking favor to him today.
Yeah. I brought some entertainment into his fucking horseshit, bullshit, boring ass show today. Can I tell you that was? And oh. I wanted to can I wanted to cancel. That's how I described your what your appearance was going to be on our show too. <laughs> That's exactly how Christina and I wrote it up. Well, now you're here with friends, and we. But I mean, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. it's like nobody, nobody's vying to go on the Pete Dominic show. Nobody's like, oh, that sounds like a blast. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I guess I'll do it. Who wants to be on the Pete Dominic show? If you're out there, uh, eight four four comedy nine. Let's go to be on the Pete Dominic. <laughs> Show. We're booking it right now. Too. Let's see what the reaction is. Maybe the phone lines are blasted. Maybe not. We'll find out when we come back uh, from break. Everybody. Let's find out if anybody wants to be on the Pete Dominic show, or maybe nobody does. I'll oh, let you know what the oh, phone lines oh, do. Oh, coming in hot. Oh, 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 there's a lot of ringing. We're phone. hanging out with Joe DeRosa, everybody. No, that's not the real phone. No, yeah, no, it's the phone. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no man, a, we have a whole phone line here. You there's a woman downstairs going nuts, tangled up in wires, trying I, to connect them all. I give, her, I give her taffy every year for I got Grand Central Station. I got to connect Hello, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Florida, talk to Nebraska. Bonfire. Nebraska, Maine. Bonfire, 342, 342, going to Mr. Dominic's office. Bonfire. All those lines lead back to one thing. This the bonfire. Dear. We're hanging out with Joe DeRosa. We'll be right back. Do you think Pete sends some assassins after you in China? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I feel that he could maybe kill me with the power of his huge head. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let me tell you, guess like who else? Like a brainiac kind of a yeah, situation. I bet it's a hard head. It would fucking cave your chest. I'll tell you this, Joe. No, I feel like he could think kill me. Oh, <laughs> with powers. Yeah, that's what oh, I'm saying. Like it, yeah, if you're doing telekinesis. Like stare. Tele yeah. Telekinesis is one thing, but He's if you... has got an oversized brain like that Green Lantern villain. But I was going to say, <laughs> if you're in a straight battering ram situation, call your boy DS. Because I'll, I'll fucking fight him like two grown rams. Oh, yeah. Remember the ram? You video? also have a huge head. Yeah, we'll you just... guys can clash mind <laughs> waves. Not mind waves. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just, just crash domes <laughs> in the <laughs> serious <laughs> Always. Just goddamn old school, man. Just, just head jail. Dude, how great would that be if Jacob's like, hey, Dan, we actually had to move studios and was walking down and we catch each other in the hallway and I go... <laughs> 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 Jacob goes, no, Dan, I know what you're doing. Pete, if you could just walk the other way... <laughs> <laughs> just run the hall. That's that old shit. <laughs> yeah. um, we only have 10 minutes left of the show, Joe, but do you want to hear any of the phone calls? Jacob pulled some of the phone calls. Oh, yeah. Calls, yeah, I do. I'd like to hear hey, what these the... motherfuckers. I'll tell you what, before you get into the phone call, again, this guy. Shout out to Smoke Honey real quick. You did defend a thing, and I'm with you. We talked about this actually last night, mm -hmm. so it was funny that it came up on that show. Mm -hmm. I want people to stop talking about the fucking Proud Boys so bad that it's driving me bonkers. They keep getting more yeah. and more press and by everyone going, they're a, a white supremacist group. I go, will you guys go focus on actual white supremacist groups? Yeah, like, I know. Like, I know. Are you wasting the time of this goofy initiation yeah, thing? It's so weird to like... I know. I even actually said to people and in the you program, have to I go, them. You have to I go, defend them then. You have to go, I go, Pete, not, how are Mexican people white supremacists? What are you talking about? He did go, his answer was, uh, they are. <laughs> which is retarded. He goes, he goes or he said anybody. Is it Sorry, anybody you're not, we're not supposed to say He said retarded. anybody could be a white uh, supremacist. Stop it, Joe. Don't go PC on us. We're <laughs> not last, here. We're trying to be the Actually, last Pete, bastion. not anybody can be a white supremacist. <laughs> Only white people can be a white supremacist. What a hilarious, yeah. what a hilarious way to And bow. retards, because no one takes this seriously when they are. Oh, oh, no! Yeah, I'd love to hear what his dumb fucking fans think, please. It's just me calling in. He goes, hey, Pete. I think it was Pete. Pete. I know, I know you made some good points. That guy got irrational and just left. Hi, it's Dan in Astoria. Just want to call and say, love you, big fan. First time caller. That guy <laughs> sucked. I want to call and he goes, hey, we got Big J on the line from the East Village. I go, how dare he? Yeah. How dare he did that to you? I know, Jay. He has to match your energy. Right. Oh, yeah, just right. His producers are like, uh, my eardrums have been snapped by his yelling three times. <laughs> all the time. I do that. I go to land all the time, too. Yeah, I'm so curious here. Really. All right, well, we are Good back without Joe DeRosa. Great re That rejoin. interview and friendship seems to be... Well, the interview is definitely over. Oh. We had a big argument during the commercial break. The biggest argument I've ever had with any guest, and it's just super disappointing to me because definitely one of uh, the people 
I've been closest to in the past. Closest to? Anymore. Anymore. Like a lot of my comedians. Well, that always, pause it. That also surprised me too. I go, were you guys super close? No. A man that I made love to what several times on <laughs> stormy <laughs> evenings. A this man all- who saved me was- when the Russians invaded. Yes. I always think, but is he more personal than that? He goes, this guy talked me off a ledge a whole bunch when I was on so the edge, man. fucking delusional this guy is. We were He's murder like, police this is the guy in Baltimore. Was- <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy who was closest to it's, it's We worked insanity. sanitation together, the old route in the Bronx. Uh, and <laughs> Joe DeRosa, man, I'm very close to, served in Vietnam, a couple tours of the Da Nang River, got bloody, we saw some stuff neither one of us could wash off. It's nuts. It's, 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 it, 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 it contributes to how delusional he is. It's yeah. nuts. Dur- anyway. uh, dude, that'd be great if he goes, a man I named a child after. <laughs> <laughs> My closest- godfather to three <laughs> of my four children. My cl- Had I known him longer, I'd never be I've, all four. I've literally <laughs> never even met his wife or his kids. And he's like, this is a guy I was closest to. My what closest- the fuck are you talking about? My you guys were in the fucking uh, foxhole together, but the proverbial foxhole of comedy. Yeah, you guys yeah, were making well, jokes and sure. Jokes. Well, no, I was in the foxhole of comedy. He was, you know, I mean, come on. Was he ever in the comedy fox? Oh! Yeah. Let's move on with his comedy. Right, yeah, let me hear, yeah, I want to hear this. I've been closest to in the past. Ugh. I don't talk much anymore, like a lot of my comedian friends, but sucked. If I'm ever being condescending. Oh, pause it. I just realized, I wonder if that's a thing when he goes. Of uh, course we, it but, is. Because we don't talk, no. Of course, I know the whole reaction is. But, no, but. But, but specifically, but, you said about the other people. Yeah. Uh, not liking the show. Yeah. He went uh, like he goes. I don't talk to him much anymore. Like a lot of my other comedians. Yeah, because Pete, you're not oh, wow. Pete, you're not a fucking comedian. You're not a comedian. You're a guy that did comedy at one point yeah. and still gets to do it occasionally because you have a fucking radio show and you do shit on CNN. You're not a fucking comic. Stop it. Stop fucking talking like you're out there every fucking night like the rest of us. You're not. You've never been funny. You've never been a fucking real comic. Shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm just so tired of it. I'm so tired of everybody claiming the same shit. Oh, I've been there. I get it. No, you fucking I don't, don't. want to cut you off, but the surprise this was going to be that when the second caller calls, Pete, like, takes it all back. And, yeah. Oh, he uh, does? He gets, yeah. like, weirdly, like, apologetic yeah, like, to It also you. Yeah. really, really compliments <laughs> your comedy. Yeah. yeah. I feel uh-huh. bad letting you roll on, but yeah. he, he, he... Are you hyper, being serious? He hyper-complimented Are you being comedy. serious? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> let's, I wanna, let's, let's hear it. <laughs> that would have been great. I, I, mean, I, I, I wouldn't have backpedaled, but I'm just saying, you know... Oh, man, that was so close. He goes, ooh, because <laughs> the, this next clip's going to be a little off. I mean, I can describe this only as in as a verbal blowjob of what he gives you. He calls you he said he was completely at fault he really did get cunty he said there was no better word you could have picked he did some reflecting over the break turns out he got some test results today that (laughs) put him in a bad mood i go yeah it gets worse he is sick joe (laughs) and you yelled at him go ahead we only have five minutes let's play as much as we can damn it i know suck if i'm ever being condescending or disrespectful then absolutely i should be called upon it even in the moment but the way that went Given my relationship with him, I thought it was, I thought it sucked. So, whenever I'm being uh, condescending or disrespectful to anybody, on the air, off the air, I expect to be called out. Uh, and uh, when it's with a, a friend uh, or a uh, someone I care about a lot, I expect it to go differently. That sucked, and it is over, and we will move on. Well, plenty more we won't. that we can talk about today. Would love to hear from you on anything. Mm-hmm. Hey! Hey, Pete, what's going on? It's Dan. Just on. Know. <laughs> you're the damn Dominic call, Dan. Dan. Dan's Dan's like, give out the number. I was trying Dan's to jump like in. you're watching. You're watching the season finale of Sopranos. Dan's like, oh, who, who, this part's really good. Like, or, Dan, or, shut up. Or, let me hear it. Or are we just playing another man's radio show on our radio I show? I want to hear the damn call. He was listening to the number. <laughs> play it. Hit play. He was listening to the call. And we can discuss a lot. About what we were just trying to have a conversation about. He's still yammering. And I'm he sure is my a big didn't freak. Help, but hey, watch I don't, the by the way, is, 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 here's one thing that you could, I guess, <laughs> check, and I'm sorry I cool. interrupted him on this, but it's Atlanta, I always thought, given my experience in Atlanta, dude, was a more cruel Can I tell you what this is? This is, oh, fuck, dude. This is such a spiteful move, because it's when you have an argument with, mm-hmm. in front of someone. If you have an argument with somebody in front of someone, and then they leave, and you go, I mean, you know, they're like, wrong. You know, yeah. right? it's like, 
You know, I'd like. Yeah, this is like when your wife storms out and you go, "Am I crazy?" <laughs> <laughs> like, That's what it was. Yeah, you're kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you threatened to kill her. You shouldn't have thrown that wine in her face. <laughs> yeah. It was a little too much. Yeah, because I'm like, the asshole. Yeah. Man. <laughs> it's totally oh, the, oh. oh, I'm the asshole. Yeah. He, goes, he goes, I didn't want to bring this up, but actually, it went. Uh, yeah, all right. hit play. Sorry, right. we only got a minute. Of who they elect there to run the city. Shut up. Dude. And <laughs> so like I'm sure there are a lot of yeah. conservatives. It is down south, but it's like, I always thought Atlanta was the, the, the liberal call? part of Georgia, which is why. So you can just scroll Yeah, goddamn. We almost had him on that second phone call. I just want to hear one of his kiss ass fans be like, first one's coming up. I want to lick your head. Love big heads. I just wanted to say that I didn't think you were being condescending at all unless facts themselves are condescending. Um, oh, what a, <laughs> what a condescending phone call. That was a fucking... Unless facts themselves Dude, that's are inception. That's condescension in condescension in yeah. a phone call. Yeah. Because it's unless you want to... over onto because itself the of fact, condescension. The condescensions are... <laughs> inverted. Yeah, they... Oh, because my condescensions were... Inverted? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way he goes. Unless facts are condescending. Oh my god! <laughs> you know fucking turd. Yes, freshen me up, please. He goes, I need. Mm. No, I need to s sit back into my bath. By the way, who has time to call into a political radio show at? 11.45 in the morning. <laughs> what are, what are, on their lunch not, break, just yeah. cranking the number over and over working? again. Do you not work? What are you doing? Yes, I cannot go back to work unless I get this call over. Put me through. Put me through, please. I want to hear this. Let's see. Does he go <laughs> Is that all that guy says? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Sure. He hates Jews and black people. I mean, it's not even close. We jumped ahead. That jumped yeah. ahead. That sounds really bad. <laughs> what was that? sounded bad. <laughs> what was that? He <laughs> says that the Proud Boys are, in fact, uh, white supremacy, oh, okay. basically. Okay. And, oh, fuck and that. that you Save can check. me that edit. Save me that edit. Because when Jay just comes back in, it sounds like we're talking about DeRosa. Yeah, okay. He says all this stuff about Jews and blacks. <laughs> Joe's, like, face really went. Joe's face really goes... That's a wild accusation to me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I heard the name Joe. Hang on. Joe DeRosa? Yeah. He didn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. To mm -hmm. be quite blunt, he's screaming about how the Proud Boys are not fascists. They explode. No, that's not what I said. White supremacy. And by the way, that's not what I said. I said they're not Nazis. You said they're not white supremacists. Yeah, I go. You can't. You, I go. I go. I go. The left sounds very dumb when they. I go. It discredits your cause when you use a word like Nazis against people that aren't Nazis. I go. I don't like them. I think they're fucking idiots. Right. I don't subscribe to it. But stop saying they're Nazis. They have Jewish members. They have Hispanic members. Now there's probably be accurate. There's probably racists. In the proud boy, but be accurate in your group. attack. No. Be accurate in your. T that's literally what I was saying. And these fucking morons are so self righteous they can't even step back and go, "Oh, ma ma actually, maybe our argument would be more effective if we were more accurate." They just go, "No, you're wrong." And it's like, "Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. You're not going to Hannah Gatsby my fucking definition of Nazi." Well, All right, <laughs> you don't get to just come in and go. Comedy doesn't mean laughter. Yes, it fucking does. Well, yes, it fucking does. Don't say. Here and tell me Nazi doesn't mean you can you can't be Mexican. Yes, it does. Well, I don't you know if you fucking know. psycho. I'm actually doing my next special, talking to a skull in the catacombs. Mm -hmm. But maybe Dude. that's not how you think comedy's supposed to be. Doing. <laughs> I guess you're looking for laughter right? and not the awkward ambiance of the skulls oh of our God. of the skulls of people who settled the land. This God damn, Jack, you're gonna win shit. You're gonna win two Emmys in a row. Oh, you guys aren't gonna come to my. Oh, you can't. I mean, you can come watch from behind the camera. I can let about ten friends hang out, but I need the still silence. I'm doing my. A uh, whole next special at a pet cemetery. What? And uh, while there's a uh, high priestess doing an incantation behind me, I don't want to make it a whole thing. Well, it's Jack. my jump. It's my leap. It's my jump into post comedy. I'm going to do it. My, my, my next comedy special is I'm going to make the audience cry. Because what is comedy? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Why does it mean laughter? Why can't it be crying? How dare you? Oh, How my God. How dare you? I don't all the time. <laughs> Just go see John Rosa. John Arosa. And by the way, by the way, I love I love that these are these progressive fans that are calling in that all sound like my fucking like great uncle. Joe DeRosa and his ass from a hole in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> the Wouldn't know his dick from a doorknob what? if I had to guess. Oh, oh, God right. damn, if my ass ain't an anarchist. <laughs> I'll tell you. I, yeah, I know an aardvark when I see one. <laughs>
Joe DeRosa, you got uh, an album recording coming up in Atlanta because, of course, you go to Atlanta, Atlanta all the you go time. to Atlanta all the time. I, I love Atlanta. Atlanta. That's where I'm going. That's my second album I've recorded there. So, uh, all the time. you want to give your information where it's going to be happening? <laughs> uh, at the Earl, September, I think it's the 30th, whatever that last Sunday of September is, 7 to 9 30 at the Earl, and uh, the album will be. Released exclusively to Sirius XM. That's yeah. the place you're going to be able to hear it. So oh, that's awesome. Fucking awesome. Check it out. So my absolutely. podcast, We'll See You in Hell, about horror and sci-fi movies. Check it out on uh, uh, um, Starburns Audio Network. Yeah. Me and Dan will be here all week, so Fuck just yes, go to dansoder.com. Go to bigjcomedy.com. And uh, subscribe to the podcast, Best please. of the Bonfire, wherever you download podcasts. Please uh, subscribe, rate, review, even if you're not going to listen to us a podcast and listen on Sirius. We want to know that you guys are listening. And uh, we'll be back with some more funds for you tomorrow. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you sign off the show without me? The audacity. You Nazi. This is a man that I thought I knew well. You're a Nazi, dude. All right, are we off air now? Okay. Joe, what the fuck was that? What? What the fuck was that? I thought you're my friend. How could you?